In this video we'll go through how to enable and manage multiple currencies. When an org is created by default, it is a single currency, org with a currency locale field, reflecting the currency value that gets stamped on all records. Once multiple currencies are activated with this checkbox, the corporate currency is defaulted to the currency locale you had defined. Be wary of the fact that once multiple currencies are enabled, all existing records that may have values recorded in different currency amounts get stamped to the corporate currency, so make sure to update all the records that have multiple currency values to the corporate currency before enabling multiple currencies. Once multiple currencies are enabled, you have the option to add multiple currencies and exchange rates relative to the corporate currency. These multiple currencies reflect the regions in which your organization does business. For example, here USD is the corporate currency, AUD is a secondary currency, with its exchange rate relative to USD as 1.38. That is 1 USD is equal to 1 Australian dollar and 38 cents. Similarly, 1 USD is equal to 0.88 euro. This is the conversion rate that gets applied in the amount or currency compatible fields when the user selects the relevant currency at a record level. Let's see this in an example. This is an opportunity where the user has selected GBP as the opportunity currency, the value shown in the drop-down is dependent on which currencies are activated. Here when the user selects GBP, the amount is recorded in GBP. So, this is an opportunity report. Let's refresh this, you would see that this opportunity record is shown in the GBP currency to the user viewing the report. There is an option however, to see the amounts in the desired currency that the user wants to see with this amount converted field added to the report. By default, this will be the corporate currency or the user default currency. Otherwise, you also have the option to filter out the currency shown in the amount converted records. Once you do so, the euro conversion rate to USD gets applied and gets shown in the amount converted values. Now, let's see what happens when advanced currency management is enabled. Go through the prompts and click on Enable. Now you will see the option to manage data exchange rates and currencies. Let's add dated exchange rates. By default, the exchange rates that you have defined get stamped and get applied to all existing records. Now, let's add another exchange rate. The exchange rate would have the start date that defines when this exchange rate gets applied based on opportunity closure date. So in this example, I will select 1st January 2022 as the start date and make changes to the exchange rates. Now, all opportunities that are closed from 1st January 2022 onwards will have the updated exchange rates and all opportunities that are closed on December 31, 2021 or before will use the old exchange rates.